guys, welcome back to Journey with Rebecca. I'm back in the kitchen today taking a break from all of the work that is happening outside, doing sort of a kitchen reset, and then focusing on some chores that really need to get done in the kitchen, plus also having some fun by making a lip balm. This is the time of year when I begin to feel overwhelmed with all the things that need to get done both inside the house and outside. And it's also the time of year when the housework just gets neglected because I'm so busy with everything that's going on outside. So I wanted to take some time this morning just to get some things picked up, organized, vacuumed, and mopped so I didn't have to worry about it for a little bit. I have such a hard time just relaxing, but since we have a pool now and we will be opening it this weekend, I'm really looking forward to just giving myself permission to relax and enjoy some family time. So when I have the opportunity to get a few things done in the house so I don't have to worry about it, I like to take full advantage of that time. So I'm gonna start with the lip balm and then while that is going and warming up, I'm going to move on to some other tasks. I have, I make all of my own hand soap and we are running pretty low on most of the bathrooms in our house. So while this is on the stove melting, I'm going to work on making up a, a bigger batch of soap. So I just have that on hand, no pun intended for the next time we need it. Um, so I have made a lip balm a couple of times in the past and I absolutely loved it. So I'm making it again and it's a really great gift idea if you are ever looking for a gift idea, which if you've noticed a theme in my videos this year, I definitely will be doing a lot of homemade gift giving this year. And so why not get started now? So what I did was this recipe calls for almond oil uh, but I actually infused the almond oil with lilacs because they were in full bloom and beautiful and, um, hold please. I should have, okay. I wanted to take full advantage of the lilacs that were in bloom, so I infused them into this almond oil, which... Uh, I did not infuse a lot because this recipe doesn't call for a lot, so I will still have some left over that I can do something else with, uh, but I didn't want to just make a ton because I really don't need it. So I'm starting with coconut oil and then I'm adding the almond oil and I'm going to add beeswax. The only other thing this recipe calls for is essential oils if you wanted to use them. I I am choosing to leave them out of this, and I think I chose to leave them out of the last um, lip balm that I did as well. It's really up to you and your preference. If you want to add the essential, essential oils, you can, but you don't have to. So I'm also making a bigger batch of this than I have made previously. Previously, the batches that I've made have been very small, and I've only made about five tubes of lip balm. So I am doubling it today and I'm going to make 10, give or take, we'll see. So this is going to go on a double boiler until it melts and then while it's melting, I'm going to start the hand soap. So I am tripling the recipe for this hand soap and I think I'll probably have some left over. So, that's great because then the next time I need it, I won't have to make a batch. I can just pour it right from this mason jar. So this is something that I've done before and I've actually made a video on. So I will put a link to that video um, in this video. And then I it also includes a bunch of other um, homemade products that I've made that I just swear by now. I just prefer to make these things myself instead of going to the grocery store. So to the water, I've added some Castile or Castile soap. I still haven't decided or don't know how you're supposed to say that. Um, and now I'm adding jojoba oil, which you don't have to add, but it makes your skin silky smooth. In my face wash, I do a vitamin E oil, which is also super, super good for you. And then I'm adding witch hazel, which 
actually is great for like disinfecting and getting rid of germs. And then literally that's it. I'm just going to add this to my foaming hand soap dispensers. And that's all. You can add essential oils to this as well. And I'm choosing not to because um, I have found that it's like left kind of like spots, almost like watermarks, but it's not. It's from the oils on my sink. So I'm choosing to leave those out this time. Oops. But now this is a chore that'll just be done and I won't have to worry about it again for a while. If you would have told me five years ago that I would be making my own natural products like hand soap and cleaning spray and deodorant, I never would have believed it. But since starting this journey, now I can't imagine using anything else. The natural ingredients are so much better for you than the harsh chemicals found in store-bought products. And it really doesn't take any time at all just to do it yourself. Now the soap is done. I've restocked three bathrooms, well, two bathrooms in the kitchen. And I still have a little bit left over, so the next time I need it, it's already made, and I can just grab it from here and not have to worry about it. And that will last for a while, so that's just a chore that I don't have to worry about anymore, and I've done myself a favor of making a little extra. I'm just waiting for the rest of the beeswax to melt. That is the thing that takes the longest, and then it's going to go into these... Um, lipstick molds, chapstick molds. This is a really great product if you're looking to make things like this at home. And I prefer the actual chapstick molds to the little tins or, you know, the little, the jars. I probably have one, like a little jar like this. I prefer these to something like this just because I don't like the idea of taking a finger that could be dirty, putting it into a tube of whatever you have or a jar of whatever you have and then rubbing it on your lips. I don't know. I just find that icky. So uh, I prefer to use these just because you can apply them right to your lips and you don't have to worry about if your hands happen to be dirty. So I will put a link to this in the video description and all of the products that I'll be using in addition to the recipes as well that I'm using today. So you can have them and can try them if you want to do that for yourself. I doubled the recipe for this and it made just about 10 full containers of lip balm. The last container was almost full. And if I were to go purchase 10 all natural lip balms at the store, it would cost way more money than doing it at home for a fraction of the price and having complete control over all the ingredients that are in it. It doesn't take any time at all really for these two set and the other thing that i didn't mention which they should already come like that but you want to make sure that the uh twisty thing which is a very technical term uh is all the way down when you're pouring your product in so then you can twist it up and actually use it but this is so silky smooth it's it's better than literally anything that i've ever bought at the store and another thing i love about this whole kit is that it comes with these little labels. There's like an all natural lip balm one and then some cute like flowers and designs that you can put right on the tube and there's a little space if you wanted to write something on it as well. So again, a great gift idea if you're looking to make something natural and homemade to give as a gift. In no time at all, I have the lip balm that's ready to go for gifts. I'm gonna use this one for myself. This one had the least amount of actual lip balm in it. I made all the soaps. I also got the kitchen all cleaned up, made some hard boiled eggs. Now I'm going to go outside. If you've watched my previous video, you know all of the work that we have going on outside. Uh, but I'm going to focus my attention out front. We have a ginormous tree that will be coming down next week. And of course, there's granite all around the tree. Uh, this granite for days here. Uh, so I need to go figure out how to best get that out of the ground because I have a feeling it's going to take some muscle and we don't have that machine anymore. So I'm going to go do that and spend the rest of the day outside. And I'll, as always, I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend time with me and take this journey with me. So thank you very much and I will see you soon.
That's not a good way to start the video. <laughs> so, so stupid.